Maritime Made on Eastlink TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc. NovaScotiaBusiness.com. We have Kennebec, Lollipop, Dakota Pearl, Red Norland, Cyclamen, Annabelle, Yukon Gold, and of course, the famously delicious Russet. What are we talking about? Potatoes. And where in Canada do they produce some of the best potatoes? Why, PEI, that's where. And W.P. Griffin in Elmsdale, PEI, has a long family tradition of growing and shipping PEI potatoes all over the world. In fact, they process over 23 different varieties of potatoes in a huge variety of packaging sizes and styles. With 15 large warehouses around the island, W.P. Griffin is able to process more than 30 million pounds of potatoes throughout the year. In order to last all year, potatoes need to be stored in highly controlled environments and are trucked to the processing facility as needed. Drivers gently load the potatoes onto a conveyor. Here we see a truckload of Gold Rush potatoes being unloaded. They are then taken to a storage hopper, ready for processing. There are a few steps that a potato takes before it can make its way into your belly. First, they need to pass through the sprouter. The sprouter shakes off any sprouts that may have formed during storage, as well as any larger pieces of dirt. The potatoes quickly make their way to a machine called the shaker. The shaker is an adjustable machine that rejects any potatoes that may be too small. These rejected potatoes are sent to the call line. The call line sends all rejected potatoes to a storage bin where they are sent to be flaked and then used in other processed potato product. The remaining potatoes move on to the washing stage. First, they are soaked in water and then pass through the polisher. The polisher uses a series of rolling brushes to thoroughly scrub the potatoes clean. Once clean, the potatoes are rinsed with fresh water. A series of spongy rollers removes any excess water that may be on the potatoes. These small red potatoes have already been washed clean and are now ready to be properly sorted. But first, all the potatoes that are processed in the facility need to pass under the metal detector, just in case a piece of metal has accidentally made its way into the facility. As they make their way to the new tech sorter and grader, each individual potato is scanned by one of three high-speed cameras. The cameras are not only able to correctly size each potato, but they can also determine if a potato is rotten or has too many blemishes. These potatoes are sent to the cull line. If a potato makes it through the rigorous grading process, it's moved to one of seven large storage hoppers. Each type of product is temporarily stored in a separate hopper until it's needed. W.P. Griffin has three packing lines as well as a ready-made food production area. Potatoes are moved from the storage hoppers to the manual grading area. Here, the potatoes are given one last visual and manual inspection by a group of eagle-eyed workers. If any blemished potatoes are discovered, they are sent to the cull line. Only the finest potatoes get the opportunity to make it to our dinner tables. 
W.P. Griffin packages different potatoes in different ways. First, there's the restaurant or wholesale packaging line. Large boxes are folded and placed on a gravity-fed loader. Here, we see russets making their way to the boxing line. Each potato is first rapidly scanned using a camera system to determine its exact size. Once the size has been determined, the Hagen sorter determines where the potato needs to go. The Hagen is able to process seven different sizes at once. Here we see boxes of 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, and 50 being packaged. The sizer is so accurate that boxes usually hold the exact number of potatoes that the label says they do. Once a box is full, it's rapidly moved along a conveyor where our worker stacks it with like-sized boxes. Most of these potatoes will be used in restaurants for french fries or baked potatoes. WP Griffin has two other production lines for bagging for consumers like you and I. Many different types of bags are packaged, including the traditional paper bags, in 5, 10, and 50 pound varieties. However, many of the unique varieties, such as these small red potatoes, are packaged in plastic bags. The potatoes all make their way to the bag weigher. Here, potatoes are dropped into a series of cups that weigh the total amount of potatoes they hold. The cups release the potatoes based on the total weight required for each bag. This line bags many different sizes, depending on the potato. The bagger opens each bag, fills it with potatoes, and then seals it. If a bag is filled with too few potatoes, it's rejected by a scale that is built into the conveyor. Each bag is placed in a box that is sealed and sent to stores all over Canada. W.P. Griffin also produces a number of consumer-ready products, such as these foil-wrapped baking potatoes, as well as oven-ready spicy baby potatoes. The small red potatoes are weighed, then dropped into microwave-ready packaging. They are sealed with plastic, spices are added to the package, and the entire product is wrapped in a cardboard sleeve. 